All right, so what we're going to do now is actually export the road coordinates for this InfoWorks um, level. And so to do that, we're just going to run a really simple script. Um, so click on the tools and then click on the scripts icon and then copy and paste the attached script into, um, into this window. <clears throat> you want to change a couple things. First thing, you want to change this um, target coordinate system worksheet, something like that. Uh, yeah, anyway, you want to change that to whatever the one is that you exported uh, when you originally exported this FBX. If you have not done that, then definitely export this FBX first. Uh, when you do that, you're going to get this .pos file. So if you open that up, that has everything you need. So it has the coordinate system right here. So from quote to quote, just copy that, paste that into um, that value between the quotes, actually overwrite the quotes. And then uh, we have these offsets. So this is the X and Y offset from zero inside max. <clears throat> max doesn't deal with really high coordinates very well. Um, so this is the offset number. So you just want to copy the X and the Y into the uh, two respective slots there. And then also, um, last thing you want to do is set your export path. So this is going to need to go to a file, um, and mine is ctemproads.txt. And as you can see, I just press start script, and um, it evaluated OK. If it comes up with false, then it means something went wrong, um, and just start over. <laughs> rather than try to troubleshoot it. So here's the file, it's just a bunch of coordinate data. And what I'm going to do here is, um, since you didn't actually see this happen, I'm just gonna delete everything in this folder. And I mean everything, including that guy. And then I'm just gonna rerun it so you can see it appear magically. And then it has the coordinates. So I guess next we're going to um, we're going to create these spline roads in 3ds Max. So see you there.